Welcome to my channel, Ken here. Today I have a Soldano SLO30. It sounds great, let's go. Today I'm sitting here with the uh, Soldano SLO 30 watt amp that has two 6L6 tubes on the output and five AX7s on the input. And I think one of them is used exclusively for the effects loop because it's buffered with a tube. Um, it has two channels. It has a clean and an overdrive channel, but the clean has two modes, which is a crunch mode and a very clean. I'll show that later. Um, there's a bright switch on the front and that only works with the clean channel. Um, and then there are two gain channels here, normal and overdrive. Uh, of course, the usual bass, middle, treble, uh, the two outputs here, one for each channel, obviously the normal is the clean channel, an overdrive channel, it has a presence and a depth. So that's high and low controls on the power amp. Here's what it sounds like. <laughs> These are modern pickups. Um, this, this amp has a classic quality that I really appreciate. It has a really nice top end and it has tons of bottom. And for a 30 watt amp, that's pretty impressive. Um, maybe a little much at times, especially for modern metal. So anyway, um, that's the Soldano. <laughs> So I think for this particular kind of guitar and this metal stuff, I'll pull back the bass and maybe depth up. So you gotta play with these two guys to get the right balance. I know it screams for a tube screamer, right? So here's the uh, Maxon OD uh, two. So also this output stage really changes character depending on how you push it. So right now it's set in the middle, I'll try at nine o'clock. And noon. And listen to this. Friends right there, right? Very little difference right there. Curious. Okay, so I'll set it here. 
and the O-Drive. Let me get rid of that pedal. All the way up. So you really want to get rid of some of that big Okay, I'll try passive pickups. There's an agile here with uh, Nash schools um, passives, also a seven string. That treble knob. All the action is right here. And the middle. This amp really likes pedals, I'll tell you. It likes a boost in front and it reacts beautifully and this is one of the best amps ever that I've heard that kind of emphasizes the color of the boost pedal. Um, check this out. So here's the Tube Screamer Maxon OD2. Here's the Fortin 33. We can pull up the bass a little bit. Right? The Tube Screamer OD2. So, how about a um, GHS set to the T7? These are just straight boosts, no uh, overdrive, just the traditional all level. And here's the uh, Friedman Boxing Boost. And listen how it's kind of flubbing a little bit, I don't know what that deal is here. I don't know what that is. Okay. Anyway, back. I like the uh, OD2 in this particular amp. So let's try and crank a little here. I'm going to switch guitars again. So here we have a Jackson soloist with a um, custom Duncan. With this boost. Let's check out that clean channel. I'll set it to the single coils here, switch over, and uh, we'll start with the really clean with no bright switch on it.
and with the bright switch on. We'll set everything in the middle. Crank it a little bit. With the crunch on. Um, bright switch off. That's the Soldano SLO. Pretty versatile amplifier. Beautiful top end. I love that crack on the overdrive and I love this bright switch. It sounds great. It'll sound really good with some chorus on it or reverb or something. Right now, just dry and uh, you know, everything has a character and this one definitely has the Soldano character. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and until next time, take care and be safe.